Hi everyone, Carol here with Carol's Cricut Crafts. In this video, we're going to take a look at the new Design Space Tools panel. This is a new feature rolling out very slowly in Design Space Beta. So you want to make sure you've switched over to Beta. I'll take a quick look at how to do that in this video for those of you who don't know or don't remember how. For those of you who need to know, to switch over to beta if you're in live mode, just go up to the top right here where you see your name and click on the drop down. Go to settings and in settings you'll see application experience. You have beta and live. So all you need to do is click on beta, click done and give your design space a moment to switch over to beta. I've placed an image on my canvas and as you can see if I'm not clicked on the image, if I haven't selected it, my top toolbar is grayed out. If I select it we can see basic cut where you can like before change your operation. We have a range, we have flip horizontally or vertically, and we have the size of the image that you can change. You have a line, but of course a line is grayed out when you only have one image on your canvas. And now we have an edit tab. You see this little pencil up at the top left? You can click on that and you'll find more tools. You'll find layout, the position, rotate the image, and now instead of clicking up or down to rotate, you can just type in a number and that will rotate your image. We also have effects like offset, sticker, and warp. And we have your combine with weld, unite, subtract, all those that are usually in combine. You'll also notice on the right bottom in your layers panel, let's X this away, you still have combined there, attach and flatten, as well as in your drop down toolbar. Isn't that terrific? Let's put this back to zero so the image is straight. We'll click, and to close it, all you need to do is click off of the edit pencil or click this little tab to the left. And that's the image. We'll put this aside. I also wanted to show you the new edit panel for your text. So here I've typed the word summer. You can see sizing, flip again, arrange. Of course a line is not highlighted because you need more than one word to do that. You have regular where you can choose your font. While we're here I might as well mention if you look at your fonts, let's say this BFC Foxy, BFC Flannel Shirt, BFC Fantasy, that BFC is going to be removed from the font names. So you'll just have Flannel Shirt or Foxy, Game Bowl. Cricut is going to remove those BFCs. You can still use BFC to search for the fonts you want if you know them as BFC and they will come up anyway even though the BFC has been removed. Also once the BFC is removed it will change the order, the alphabetic order by which the fonts are sorted. So fantasy will not be here near the top, fantasy will be farther down with the F's so it will change the order but those fonts are all still there so you don't want to think that they've been removed. Let's close this. We're going to edit and you can see that you have the layout position. Once again, you type in the number that you want to rotate your text. You have alignment, center, left, right is still there. You have letter space and line space. Let's take a quick look at that. This is something I use a lot when I type out text and I want to move my words closer together. I'm going to take out the zero and I'm going to put minus five to move them up closer together. 
That's terrific. Really easy to do. So we can also use ungroup, select ungrouping. This is a drop down where you can ungroup to letter, ungroup to lines, or ungroup to layers. If I choose, let's say, ungroup to lines, this text will become all separate lines. Terrific, isn't it? I love that. I use that is something that I use a lot also. Let's just hide that. We don't need it anymore. We'll go back to this. Here we have curved text, and it works just like it always did. We have offset, sticker, and warp. And once again, you have your combined feature, weld, unite, subtract, intersect. It's all there. I think these new tool panels are amazing. I love how they simplify the top toolbar and put everything you want to work with in one place. So this is just a quick video. I hope this is going to be helpful to you. Don't forget you need to be in beta and it is a super slow rollout again. So be patient. If you don't have it already, don't worry. It's coming. Thank you for watching.